Oh man, it felt so good because the audience was like crazy, wild and loud and I love that energy and you know, I just, I was a little nervous of how they would take me because I'm always doing ballets and always like really dressed up and everything, but they were like, yeah, bring it on, let's have some fun, woohoo! So it was great. Yeah, I had a single and a, made a lot of noise there in the in the industry. Really good stuff. It's called "Don't You Want My Love," and it was written by El Nova, and it was a dance track that went um, go. Well, the track didn't go go, but it was on a soundtrack of Ruthless People, um, and that soundtrack went go. So I was in the accompaniment with some big superstars. I thought that was gonna like shoot my career into like whoa, but it didn't. It didn't, but it did open doors for me to be able to do corporates on a high level and work and, you know, it was a good thing. I, I, I may would have had an advantage, but I think I was just as vulnerable as everybody else because, for me, I'm completely out of my comfort zone still every week. And this is like, whoa, different hair, different look, different everything is different. And... Um, I, I wouldn't say that it was comfortable, but once I got on the stage and started singing and the audience started like having fun with me, then I got totally comfortable. Totally comfortable. No, no. They were actually putting me together up until the last, before the five minutes. I went through four different jumpsuits, three different dresses, and bam, finally Kelly's like, okay, we need an 80s look, okay, I need jeans, I need a t-shirt, let's do this right. And so, just minutes before the show, they put this all together, and I didn't even get a chance to see myself until after I finished. And good thing, because I, I probably would have been like, ah, it's so different. I knew, I mean, I saw the hair, which really was so different, you know, and I know I'm in jeans, and you know what, it's, it's, you're out of your comfort zone. But I knew that the best thing for me to do is not really look at it until after. And when I saw myself, I was like, wow. Okay, that's why they were screaming. <laughs> it's pretty good, it's pretty good. So it was, a, I had, I'm so happy because it was a lot of fun for me. I don't know what's gonna happen from this point on, but it was just the greatest merry-go-round or a roller coaster ride or whatever. I love it. Well, I'm really hoping that America will keep me here so that I can show them all the different sides of me. I mean, I got to pop around like lollipop land tonight, you know, but I still want to get a chance to like really rock because there's this, like Simon said, you're, you're a bad girl, you know, you're naughty. And I, I kind of want to show that side of me. So I'm, I'm really hoping for that rock moment that I can do that. And after I've gotten that rock thing out of my system, and then maybe one like really cool Michael Jackson dance, like 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 really do it, I get those two out of my system because I've shown my sides, then um, I'll be perfectly happy with whatever happens. My message to my fans, I love you guys so much, and please, 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 have my back and help me to get through the X Factor. There's so many things I want to do and I can't do it without you guys. I love you so much, so, so much. Thank you for helping me to be here. This is, this is how I feel. I'm, I'm in love with them and, and they love me back and that's so cool. That's so cool. I'm always excited when I can get away without without Simon choking me. You know, when I can do a performance and I'm not like with spears and air, bows and arrows coming from Simon, I do, it's it's a good day. <laughs> it's a really good day, you know. And then the 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 the, the thing that he said about. Oh, you kind of sexy there, you know. It's like you're trying to. I forget how he said this. Seduce me, but I have a girlfriend. You know, I'm saying <laughs> that was so 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 funny. But hey, I got a response out of him, and it was positive. Uh huh. Kudos for me. Woohoo! Right on X Factor. Love you guys.